Hello everyone. Welcome back to my video tutorial for Microsoft Access. Previous video, I already show you how to create a backup, which is version two. Uh, in this video, I will expand that the function I will call that a backup version three. From previous video example, when I open the main form, and will be automatic uh, create a backup file. And because it's, I put under on load event, when form is loaded, it's called a function backup version 2. Uh, let's see the file is saved at um, C drive, test DB, that today is 12 30, December 30. That's what it's back up when you open the backup file here it's back up everything uh, from the table form module everything will be back up let's copy it uh, in this version 3 uh, we uh, modify the function I uh, will make it back up already the table which is will be less space you know for your computer for your storage we right, just delete this for now uh, let's go open that uh, utility we have the function version 2 here that we created we're gonna copy this function and then copy it Okay, and press it. This one we press. We gonna change the name to a uh, version three. We gonna modify in this function a little bit to make it save already the table. Is everything here mostly looks good? Uh, what the section we gonna change? We gonna change the the saving part. You know the copy part. Uh, because uh, this function is created from you know the data backup from uh, the setup backup table the way how we're gonna back up is pull out the data from this table a backup folder backup file and then back up on the uh, check date you know the check day uh, today is Wednesday that check that uh, that's why it's back up today and now the function that version 3 here we still keep that you know override you know the format of the date uh, the part location or the file name we all uh, gonna leave it there target today all this you know back up on Sunday we still keep that uh, the part we gonna modify which is here and this part we will be back up on um, already uh, table at this part this code here which is copy the whole file you know it's say um, object fso dot copy file and we will be uh, deleted from here now you will have this part we can uh, modify that okay what we need to have back our file this one about a folder exists now if we back our file in there uh, if they have the existing file for example when we load this form it's auto backup now we have that file already here we need to delete that file first before we back up okay uh, we're gonna change that if I exist part uh, it's not the folder anymore it's about the file the file where it come from the file is target because including the part and file name and the file format we can change here target if the file uh, exists what we do we're gonna delete that file we can use a queue Kill the target Q 
that file. Okay. If the file exists, and then we delete that. Okay, for the next step, uh, we're going to create okay, a new uh, access file. We can create new access file. We use a DB engine dot uh, create database. Create what? We create the target. Create here. After we kill that, delete the old file, and then we can create the new file. DB um, length general. It's general rank this one is for like uh, English German French after we make a copy new file to the new location here with this above uh, case now we can uh, uh, starting um, make a copy the all the table to the new target file uh, we can start with um, DB in with db equal to this up here you know the uh, current database we use for each group db in dot table dev next what is OTB we can initialize that name OTB as table dip over here and we also use the select case if it's true and then case lab OTB name one equal the tilde sign you know tilde symbol here we can get it you know copy from some place okay like this because my keyboard doesn't pick up this sign I have to copy you know from Google Slave OTB dot name for this one equal to um, M sys the system file case L and select. Okay, let's talk about this one first and let's. Take a look on the table, you know, navigation pane about here. In here, we will see already this table. I have four tables, regular three tables, and the link one link table, which is um, linked to another um, database. Uh, it shows already for uh, actually, they have system table list in here as well, but uh, we don't see you no. Know, we don't have it here uh, what we need to do if you want to see that how many table in here we a uh, right hand click on all access object here right hand click and you go to the navigation option uh, it open that uh, window navigation option window you see here uh, show the hidden object you know on the table you see all this table and show the system object object type all this table query form that's object and now show the system at the hidden and click ok now now you see here is a lot of the table which is system table here start with msys all this you know is created out because created by system all that this type we don't want to copy it 
we just want to copy our data from the other table here uh, we just go back and uncheck that two option now we come back already a full table that we can see uh, that's why we need each in here start with, with the full letter when we, we don't want to copy if the case out if all the another table name and then we make a copy we use SQ uh, and also use a select all into into the target for new file new file with the new uh, with all the table name close bracket otb dot table name bracket that's all done that means execute that data you know all the table from current database into the new target file with the same uh, table name in here and if it's done all the loop here we can give the message bug you know back up version 3 fully look okay, like all that's it you know this part it make the copy the first one if file exists and delete the old file and then create the new file and then uh, copy all the table into the new file that's they have already three concepts here and uh, we can make a copy of this function 3 and we test it add a button on the main menu form test version 3 call backup version 3 open that set up form here this backup folder that we can accept the new cry to and we can specify our name uh, backup version 2 and set ok when we open the main menu form and support to automatic the new file on the backup is show here version 2 backup version 2 that when we open this file uh, this object show a table here we can select all the object now you can see here it's copy all the table form and merge everything to the new file and we can change the file name here new backup version 3 okay uh, before we test it we delete all the file from that backup folder and close this form open that um, right let's check on the backup table we can say uh, backup version 2 over here we want to see from the old version uh, we just open that main menu and the version 2 is supposed to be uh, create automatic from that code we use over here it called when form load is called the uh, backup version 2 uh, let's see the file here now it's fine make a version 2 here and with open it you can see select all the object you see all this is copy all table from everything to the new file and let's go back to the main form here and now let's test it um, before we test it we have to change um, 
now change the new file name equal to new backup version 3 now okay we test it is version 3 backup successful now over here new backup version 3 backup successful uh, let's open it version 3 what is different from version 2 um, this one is supposed to be backup or a table you can see all the object here we selected it's backup all the table doesn't have the form and even though the customer form uh, customer table here it's just link uh, table to another uh, file however still back up over here you see come back and you can see here it's linked to uh, external uh, database open this we can update here or we can we can add a new name at um, test version 3 name add a new record to the customer table which is the you know it's linked to another table However, when we back up is it's gonna be back up the new data as well. Even though it's linked to another table. Okay here you can see here let's sort it. See it says version three name test. That how it work. It's copy all the data from the table and to the new file and what we see here we see the different here the version 3 the size of the data or backup data is already uh, 412k however the version 2 that backup everything including the form and come up with the uh, 3200k uh, 3 max now the big file or big a database have a lot of form here every time you back up will be uh, slow because you, know, you have a lot of form in there it's gonna be very slow to back up you know when we load the form at the beginning and however the version 3 which is less bit is back up already the data we make it fast and you know and quick some people ask me can I use the version 2 in the speed form because the split form is, is linked table to the database uh, it is the answer for version 2 is probably no but answer to for version 3 is yes because version 3 is copy the data or the table let the uh, split make a split the database here let's try it and I will put on the desktop you know copy start uh, end with B uh, underscore B B E and split successfully now my database is split all the data is not saved in here it saved it to another external uh, database file on my desktop now all the tables link which is this one is a um, you know, uh, it's fun in it's for the user to use it, but all the data is saved it somewhere to another file. Uh, you can see the link uh, manager here. You know, it's back up to my uh, desktop. A customer still link to another file. You know, it's, this all is linked from different uh, database. This call um, the split uh, database, the front end. Let's delete all the old file first. We're gonna test this uh, function three backup. That's gonna be backup or reduced data. Okay, we got it here. 224k new file, new version three backup and uh, you can see here all the object 
it's already the table shown here when it's shown here it's not linked table we can open it in here and this one is back up it's copy from all that link table to this new file and it's show in here I recommend this function in the two of us and to you know, have uh, save it the data because data is the most important in the database and I hope it's helped you guys all you know and thank you for watching please subscribe and thumb up